So on our way out to Yei, um, we were out to meet a historian that was going to give us some information about some history that happened around the area. So we had three points of interest that, that we covered in Yei and we left uh, Peter's grave until the end and this is the end video of the series, thanks. So yeah, is uh, situated in the Merindindi Shire Council. Um, the day that we done this introduction, we didn't get to go to the grave because uh, you know, the heavens opened up on us and it absolutely hammered down. So we had to go back a following time. So this introduction is on our first video. So we're going to be on the platform there and see if we get any activity there. Um, we've been told that no tragedies have happened there and no reported paranormal activity. But you never know, something might come through. We've also got the Chevette Tunnel. Um, it was a train tunnel built in back in 1887. Um, there was an explosion out there. Um, so we're hoping to get some activity out there tonight. Also, we're going to go to the historic cemetery. Um, it's the old part of the cemetery that's not used anymore. And we're going to go find some of the other Yeah, I believe we're going we're gonna to make, make some communication tonight, and hopefully, we're going we're gonna to find a fellow that um, passed away tragically in um, the Chevette Tunnel. And yeah, he died at, uh, in an in amongst an explosion, uh, we found out quite a bit of history today, so we're, we're in for a challenge. We're going to go to the local graveyard here and see if we can find him. So yeah, it should be interesting. Uh, it's going to be quite the challenge tonight to find him, yeah, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, yeah. <laughs> We're rolling. But as promised folks, um, we've returned to the Yay Cemetery. Um, we're going to find this Peter Burns grave. Um, we've also been told of another story. Um, we're going to look for a grave with an angel on it. Apparently this angel changes direction depending on the seasons. So it might appear one way one season and slightly turn to the other. And apparently there's a curse on the grave, so we've got to check it out. We have to check it out. Alexander Robert. Robert. Mm. 
Father Val has left us. We thy lost most deeply feel that this God who But this God who hath brought us He can all Sorrow's Hill. Sorry. Uh, do you want me to see how I set up first? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the tripod. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. Um, I shall crave to thee we trust this precious part of earthly dust. Grant it safely sacred tomb. Thee who has So he has child to we ha oh sorry to to we his child it's hard to read to we his children ask ask for room also of this wife Jane Kim safe in the arms of a Safely on his trip. There's not saying nothing there, I've got a curse. I'd say that'd be just who erected the the stone. Yeah. So it's not really curse. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a curse. No. I'd say it's more like a, 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 a prayer. When we were at the tunnel doing this investigation in the tunnel with Peter Byrne, um, we had this chap that stopped by and he was talking to us and he told us of this urban legend that there was a grave at this old historic cemetery that had a curse on it and anybody that trespassed on the grave would be cursed. Um, but we went to look at it for ourselves, we read it, we understood it and we actually believe it was a prayer until the baby, the mother and father were all reading on the sick. There's the other connection in the car. From here I have sped the video up um, at the site. We didn't really get much activity. We had nothing going on really. 
Um, I had some caption in front of the SLS camera, um, but for some reason it was malfunctioning. Every time I tried to press record, it wouldn't record, then it wouldn't save the recording. Uh, we have these technical issues from time to time when we go out. Um, we don't know if it's just equipment playing up or whether there's actually something you know, affecting our equipment. Who knows? So we found Peter Burns' grave. Um, it wasn't that hard to find, really. Um, it's got a great big sign in front of it. So we found his grave, and now we're going to try and cool him down and see if he's here at his site and see if he'll communicate with us. So stay tuned, and we'll see if we can um, cool him down. When we found Peter's grave, um, we had a few devices on there. Um, the only really activity we got was uh, a bit of readings on the it's be hard on the, on the rim pod. And it looks to get proof. I'm looking at the we had a few that being red. Come you can't through, even see it on the camera. Um, red from the microphonics. Now, sometimes they do just come out with random words, but some of the words that do come through, you can identify them to the questions that you ask. So, yes, keep recording. It can be real communication. I'm still recording, Peter. Don't you worry about that. So, I just had come through on the ghost tube. Uh, keep recording. Very, very exciting. Can you touch that device on your on your stone there, Peter, for me? Touch the aerial. You got to touch the aerial for me. How are you, Peter? How are you going? You know what's funny, right? I've never been told in my life by 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 a ghost what to do. I've never been told to keep recording by a ghost before. <laughs> Very good. Well, we're recording, but nothing's happening. Yep. Yeah. 
You're gonna have to either come through the phone or talk into the device in Rodney's hands there, Peter. We'd rather you touch that rim box. That'd give us solid You're gonna have to do more than just the heat sensor, mate. You're gonna have to touch the aerial. You're gonna touch touch the aerial like this. So you only have to go within that much of it. You do it, Pete. What'd your friends call you? Did they call you Pete or did they call you Peter? You have to touch the aerial, mate. That's not the aerial, that's the heat sensor. Come on, Peter. You can do it, mate. I give you permission to use some, draw some of my energy just to touch it. Yeah. Maybe you're not here, Peter. Starting to think that maybe you're not here at all. Can you tell us how you died? Peter, can you tell us how you died? Mother. Do you miss your mother? Do you miss your mother, Peter? Peter, can you touch the other device on your stone there? Touch the other device, the EMF reader, right at the he headstone of your grave. Yeah? Can you touch one of the other devices? Hello. Peter, if you're here, you gonna leave me phone here. Feel free to talk into it. Are you here with us, Pete? You here, Peter? You have to bring the car around just in case we have to do a quick pack up. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah. Now this time we'll go back out the way we come in, eh? <laughs> last time we went, last time we drove around, yeah. this, we followed this road around to yeah. get out. Yeah. And it was that narrow because, yeah, right. because, oh. of, the, because of the graves on each side, yeah, on that yeah. part there. Peter, at this time, are I'm you here with us right now? We're going to get a great big thunderstorm coming through why, and um, heavy showers, so I got the car ready and brought it up closer to where we were so we could quickly pack up if we had to. I've got no sound coming through. I don't know why. I'm hoping. We mean you no harm. We just. No Something's going on with my phone because I, I, I can't even get it to go. Did you do it? Was it you, Peter? Were you playing with my phone? Come on, light up that device for me. Light it right up. Give me as much power and energy as you can give. Come on, now's your time to shine. Show us you're here. You have to do more than that, mate. Come on, mate. A lot more than that. Light it all up. You can even light up one of these cat balls here. Can you light that up for me? Come on, Peter. You can do it, mate. Hot and cold burst of energy. Yep. That's all I'm getting. Now I can't rely on heat temperatures because this is the one that counts. That's right. Because that, when that goes off, you literally the ghost has to physically yeah. get close to it. Close enough, yeah. Yeah, go make that go off. See, these are more so used, like, say, you know, like inside of a house in a hallway or something. You know, what? Like, because the spirit will, you know, be, be trapped in a in a time yeah where they're walking, still walking the halls and that. And you put yep. one of them in the where they walk. Walk. Come on, Peter. Can you make that one go off for me? You do do better than that, mate. Come on. Draw some of my energy just to touch it. Come on, mate. We're not going to be here too much longer. Thank you. Thank you. DMF's going off. Thank you. Thank you. Can't see it though because of how bright it is. EMF's going off. Grandpod's going off. Grandpod. It's going up one. I'm not joking. It's going off right now like it's legit. Have a look at the light at the front. You see it flashing? Thank you. Make it Move this device back for a second. Move this device back. See? Thank you. You gotta make the noise make the alarm go off. You gotta touch the aerial. Thank you, Peter. So hard. Because of that light. There we go, I can see that. Turn it around the other way and shift the other bit. Peter! If that was you, Peter, go up to the device and touch it again for me.
Now you're just playing with the heat sensor again there, Peter. You gotta to touch the aerial again. Come on, set me aerial off. I showed you how to do it before. You were doing it just before. So you know which one which one you've got to touch. You do more, you gotta let the other lights go off on that device. moment it's just the sensor but before before folks how do we do it? oh that's right we do it like this but before folks we had the AM, the the ram pod going off the lights were flickering up probably about halfway but yeah we still need to get some more solid evidence I think what do you think D? DJ just not enough, eh? Not, nothing solid. This is what we want to see. We want to see these two go off. These ones go off. Can you touch it for me, Peter? I tried using Necrophonics before and the volume completely cut out. The whole phone cut out, didn't it? Yep. Peter, if you're here, feel free to talk into the phone, mate. Are you here with us right now? And if you are here with us, were you um, playing with the RAM pod before? Or was it somebody else? Really got to try and make communication with this, Peter. Don't leave it till we're going. Bloody. bloody. Did you die of a bloody death? In the explosion? Is that what you're talking about? Thank you. Can you set the EMF off again? Can you set that ram pod off for us? Can you touch the aerial on it? Who is he? Who is who? That's Rodney. Is this Peter? Can you answer for me? Is this Peter?
Peter. Peter Burns. Do you want to talk to us? Peter. You can talk into me phone there. Thank you. The rampod, the rampod going off. Huh? That's the ram, rampod, the, the EMF reader, and the light. That lights the sensor. It's totally different. That's the sensor. But the other one, when that one flickers. That's the rampart. 